guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For all of you guys that don't know me, I'm Mina. Very, very nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. I am a certified life and relationship coach for all of you guys that are new to my channel. So welcome. So today's topic that I wanted to cover with you guys is off of yet another coaching call that I just took. And I figured this would be a good one to share with you guys because it, it for me, I'm going to be very, very honest, it hit a bit of a nerve when I took this call and after I started talking to this young lady and I figured, you know what, I can bet that many other women are dealing with something very similar, okay? And if you are dealing with something like this, just know that it's not okay. There is other options and life doesn't stop here, okay? And I, I could imagine young ladies, especially young ladies that don't really know any different would put up with this stuff unfortunately have to put up with this stuff or at least feel like they have to put up with this stuff like they don't have any other option she wanted to know why is it that men tend to get more disrespectful after you have a baby and honestly as i mentioned before that did hit a nerve because i feel that the fact that they were already disrespectful towards you for whatever reason prior to the baby has red flags written all over it. There should be no reason why a guy, let alone a guy that you're dating or in a relationship with, is being disrespectful towards you. I get it now. You're going to have your arguments. You're going to have your disputes. You're going to have your disagreements. That's normal just like marriages do. We're not perfect people. You know, we're dating somebody that, you know, we're still getting to know. Some have been with them longer, some shorter. It is what it is. Nobody's perfect. But there's a difference between disputes, disagreements, arguments in a healthy way and having somebody disrespect you, okay? Now, as far as the type of disrespect, she did share that a lot of it was verbal. A lot of it was, you know, towards her appearance. Um, obviously, you have the baby. Uh, when you have a baby and you're caring for a child, women tend to gain weight. Um, very normal, totally normal. Your body changes, everything changes. With women, we go through a lot. And he felt like it was appropriate for him to, you know, start with the insults before, continue during pregnancy, and then even get worse afterwards, okay? And so to answer that question and not overstate what I really, really felt like saying over the phone is you're not dealing with a man. You're dealing with a grown boy, okay? A grown boy because there is no reason a man in his right state of mind would take hits at you when you're pregnant and after pregnancy and even before regarding your physical appearance or, you know, anything, saying anything verbally, you know, insulting you, let alone, you know, taking shots at your physical appearance. That's just not right. Nothing there makes sense. Nobody. Nobody has that right to do that. Like if some guy wakes up and says, you know what, today I'm going to call my girlfriend fat and that she should lose weight. She should look like she did before when we first started dating because she had this baby and she gained all this weight. In what world is that okay? It's not. And the reason why he's disrespectful is obviously, A, as I mentioned, he's still a grown boy. He's nowhere near being a man. Okay. He's an adult, but he's a grown boy. And B... He feels that now that you have his kid, you're kind of trapped. You're really not, but in his mind, he feels that you are. He feels that, you know what? She's not going to go anywhere. She has my baby. She's here with me. I mean, where's she going to go? And the truth is, you have plenty of places to go. There is plenty of people, men specifically, and I mean men, they'll be more than willing, more than willing, to be part of your life and your baby's life. If your boyfriend already started this prior to pregnancy, let alone during pregnancy, let alone after pregnancy, is not gonna get any better. It's just not. 
It's just not. So your best bet is to unfortunately make that decision and go. And go. Leave. Take your baby and go. Because it's not going to get any easier. So imagine if you have another baby with him. That takes a toll on a woman's body. And you shouldn't live uncomfortably and go through a pregnancy uncomfortably, afraid to gain a pound or two of healthy weight because you are growing a life inside of you because of the grown baby that you were taking care of, the grown man that you're taking care of, the grown boy that you're taking care of is going to say something. That's ridiculous. Every pregnancy should be an experience that a woman enjoys there should be no reason to feel you know like i can't do this or i can't do that i gotta watch what i do here i i just gotta look perfect because i'm pleasing him no <laughs> you're doing all the hard work you are doing all the hard work remember that your body went through the changes or is going through the changes you just put a life in this world what did he do what did he do if he's not doing his role in, in, in treating you like a queen that you are, keeping you on a pedestal, spoiling you during this time, making you feel that you're beautiful, that you're perfect, you know, that you are just the way you are and that's all he needs. Why is he there? And this was during such a vulnerable time as pregnancy. Pregnancy. That's just not the time you mess around with a woman's appearance and decide to get verbal about that. Because for some reason, you feel like your opinion matters right now. And it's not like you're saying anything positive. All you're doing is putting her down. So again, to emphasize what he's doing, what he did already prior to pregnancy, during pregnancy and after pregnancy is just all wrong. All of it is wrong. There is no excuse for that. There is no need for that. And there's just no way around that. Like you can't, you can't, you can't just talk your way out of it. You just can't. You messed up. You messed up badly. And now the reason why it's gotten worse is because you unfortunately allowed it. He saw what he was doing and what your reaction was to it and that you stayed and didn't say anything back. Or if you said anything, it was minor and you didn't put him in his place. So he feels like he could now say anything he wants and you're not gonna go anywhere, you're not gonna do anything, and you're not gonna say anything. And you're just gonna be there to deal with his insecurity, to deal with his BS, to deal with his shenanigans, to deal with this childish behavior. Clearly, he wasn't taught right. We already know that. He made that very clear. We didn't have to dig around for that answer, okay? He knows that, at least he thinks he knows that. You're not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be putting up with his crappy ass behavior, his childish behavior of a man child and he's just going to continue on and you're just going to continue on and he thinks it's okay now she's not going to go anywhere she's here she's got my baby where's she going to go who's she going to go to is she going to find somebody probably not she doesn't have it in her to leave me that's what's going on so prior to where you're at right now you've already been dating a man child you've already allowed this guy to disrespect you prior to anything. And you unfortunately open that door instead of just putting your foot down right away and saying, that's gonna be the first time and the last time you say anything about my weight. First and last time. Because if you did, he would have stopped then and there. To top it off, just the thought of dating a guy who actually has the guts to tell you that kind of a thing throws me off. To me, I would have been like, I'm out. <laughs> See you later. Like, it's not happening. It's not going beyond that. This is going to be the first and last time you say that. Uh, we're not even going to go to it. Oh, next time, you know what? If you do it again, no, none of that. Mm -mm. That's going to be the first and last time. Your lesson learned is going to be with somebody else. Because I'm not going to deal with your crap. But because you allowed it, he realized that you're not going anywhere. Oh, I told her this and then she didn't do anything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell her that. She's not going to do anything. And after that, I'm going to tell her this. She's not going anywhere. She just kind of sits and takes it. Whatever. I can tell her whatever I want because she's not doing anything about it. She ain't going nowhere, clearly. And now she's got my kid. She's not going anywhere for sure. Truth is, you could do a lot better with somebody else. I would not put up 
with that kind of behavior for a second. For a second. Let him learn his lesson. I'm out. Go stay with somebody else. Go stay with a family member. Stay with your mom, your parents, your sister, a cousin, a friend, wherever. Leave. Get out. Because if he's going to disrespect you on your looks, and you're not going to do anything, it's just going to get worse and worse. To the point where he feels like he could physically hurt you and get away with it. That's what it is. Because if you guys are already disconnected this much, it's not going to come a night where you guys hold hands and apologize to one another and he's going to tell you I'm going to change. Like The way I look at it is he's already lost. He's been lost. He's going to be lost. He's going to need some major therapy for what he's going through, why he's doing that, and why he's taking out on you. But that's none of your business. Your business is to take care of you, realize that you deserve better, and set a better example for that child. Because it's going to go downhill from this point on. Let me tell you. He feels like you're trapped right now. You've got you cornered against the wall and you are not going to go anywhere. Because in his mind, where are you going to go? Nowhere. And especially with his baby, you're not going to go anywhere. But again, he's wrong. Because the grass is greener on the other side. Don't let that happen. There's plenty of women that have left these rummy relationships with these nobodies, these children that weren't raised right or taught how to treat a woman, how to respect yourself, respect the woman you're with, set an example for your child. They weren't, they just, they don't know, they don't know anything. They were never taught that. There are a bunch of lost souls that have never healed. That's what it is. Know that. That's not where it stops. You don't have to put up with this stuff. That's not your job. Your job isn't to fix him. Your job isn't to put up with his crap. Your job is to be the best version of yourself. And you, only you determine that. Nobody has the right to talk to you about how they feel about your looks. Unless it's a positive thing. Because motivation is always good, right? Your job is to be the best version of yourself to yourself and the best example for your child. So my answer to that is, again, the reason why he's like that is because he never grew up. He's still a grown boy. He's still a grown boy and he's going to be a grown boy. Until literally he hits rock bottom and you leave him and he's literally there at the house by himself without anybody, he's not going to change. And even when you do that, he's going to need some healing, major healing. That's like a life coach, a therapist, counselor, whatever it is, that's his problem. That's the only way he's going to get past where he's at right now. But that's not for you to worry about. All you should be concerned about is yourself and that baby and your guys' future going forward. So know that. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to change people. You're not always going to get clear answers. And unfortunately, sometimes you're not going to get the answers that you want. But just from the beginning of this conversation, I realized that this relationship was already in trouble prior to this child even being born. Prior to her giving birth, prior to her even getting pregnant, let alone when pregnancy hit, and then afterwards, it was just a downward spiral from that. It was just a downward spiral from that. Okay. So ladies, I hope you liked this video. If you ever dated a guy, felt that for whatever reason, his opinion about you was so important that he needed to tell you and bring you down. Know that there is people out there that would be willing to go above and beyond to date you. Child or no child. Doesn't even matter. More than willing. They will take care of you and put this guy to shame. Okay? It doesn't end there. Know that. And especially if you do have a child, know that even more that it doesn't end there. Don't ever allow a guy to disrespect you because it's going to continue on. Eventually, he's going to be disrespecting you in front of your child. And that child is going to think that's normal. That's not love. That's not a good example of love. There's a lot of pain there and there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. So do yourself and your child a favor and leave. Don't waste your time. Don't waste another minute on a guy that's like that. That's not your job. You can't be superwoman. You gotta be superwoman for yourself and your baby. Okay? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a 
you know, it was a little bit of a trigger for me because you know, I feel a certain type of way when I see women, especially young ladies, in these positions with these guys that have been no reason to be in a relationship. And now they get these women into relationships, these young ladies, get them pregnant, and these girls feel like life stops there. And they just damage those relationships. They damage their self-esteem. They damage their self-worth. And they just self-destruct. Best thing to do is just leave. Get out now. Okay? Ladies, I hope this helped. If you've been in a relationship like this um, and you want to talk about it, let us know. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, what did you do? Did you leave? Did you stay? Are you still in there? Um, feel free to share if you're comfortable enough to do so. Make sure you like, subscribe to my channel and share my content with everybody, please. And let me know if there's any videos that you guys want me to make. I will soon be taking questions from the emails that I receive from you guys, maybe reading off of those because I feel like I'm always sharing coaching calls. Maybe at once I can read to you guys um, and talk a little bit about throw in my comments, throw in my opinions, throw in my thoughts and share those with you guys if I'm of course allowed to share them. So be on the lookout for those. And yeah, guys, I hope you take care and I will see you guys in my next video, okay?